when we are dealing with fairings, there is always a risk, of things not fitting as we were expecting. This is especially true, when we are talking about the Honda CB550. Because it is a very rare choice. If someone had told me, that he was going to use a full fairing on this motorcycle, the first word that would come to mind is, risky. But this one, is definitely a good example. Not big. And not too small. It is just perfect. Welcome. To Racer TV. The first time I saw this project, my initial thought was, I've got to make a video about it. After some research on the web, I became a little frustrated, because I didn't find anything about it. But for my surprise, two weeks later, I received a message on Facebook, from the owner, asking me if I was interested about making a video about his project. Was I interested? No. Because I was extremely interested. This is the kind of project, that we love immediately after seeing it for a few seconds. Curiously, this was precisely what the owner of this bike felt, when he saw a cafe racer for the first time in his life. That was also the key moment, that changed his life completely. The American Anthony Scott, is the man behind this beautiful machine. And also the owner of Engine Enthusiast, a company catering to people passionate about vintage cars, and motorcycles. The project started with a beyond repairable Honda CB550, rusted, and brittle to the touch. But to complete the project, Anthony chose Little Horse Cycles, which is based in Portland, in the state of Oregon. He was looking for something that looks fast, but retains the vintage feel. And I think it definitely has that. With the exception of the rear sets and the speedometer, this Honda looks like it could have been built entirely, with parts available in the 70s. Personally, I think it may seem even older. This color scheme, reminds me of something iconic from the 60s. I'm referring to this 4 GT40. I don't know if this is just a coincidence or not. But it worked brilliantly. Just as the Benelli Mojave replica race tank. And the old school Honda badges. And why did Anthony pick the Coca tires? Because he didn't want something too racy. Or something too square. This is definitely a very good and desirable motorcycle. The 
the approach is different for most projects based on the CB model. But that's exactly why it stands out from the crowd. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.